did you watch my previous video and thought, oh my God, this blew my mind, but are there other ways I could try? Now, this is a buffet. I have 13 more ways you can make money as a writer. And we are diving into this very exciting topic right away. Are you a seasoned writer or you're just even starting out? There are plenty opportunities waiting for you beyond the whole traditional way of making money as a writer. My name is Chisomu Tibiaka and I welcome you to how do I unlock new income stream from writing? This is a question that is burning on everybody's heart. Everybody is a writer had at some point asked themselves, how else can I make money from this thing? Especially because in our environment, guys, people don't really value intellectual work. They don't really value your work because of the way we present it as well. But anyway, that's another topic I'm going to treat some other time. But let's dive into the 13 other ways that you can make money as a writer that is not the conventional, traditional way. Are you even ready? Are you ready? This is Chi Money Gang. And as usual, I'm bringing to you today more like a webinar. So you're going to miss my face a bit, but don't panic. Okay. This is just us looking out for each other. And I can't have an information that I will not give you as usual. So let's dive right in. Number one way, if you're asking, how do I unlock new money streams from writing? Have you considered copywriting for businesses? What is copywriting? Writing to advertise. That's what it means. Forget all the torrential. Writing in a way that will advertise a product or a service. That's copywriting. And it requires a very key skill. You have to understand how to persuade people and move them to action with what you have written. So this first strategy I'm sharing is copywriting for businesses, not for individuals, because individuals may not be able to pay you. See, stop playing the small game. Many companies are looking out for skilled writers that will craft compelling content for their websites, take note, for their marketing materials like flyers and all that. Have you seen people hand you a flyer and you see a typographical error or you're reading it to, to almost the end, you're still wondering what exactly are they selling? You can't tell. That's bad copywriting. Okay, people are also looking for people to create advertisements. The script, it, has, it comes from the script first. And ask yourself, is this something I'm skilled in? Is my writing very compelling? Is my writing copywriting? Can I improve on my writing so that I can acquire these skills and serve it to corporate organizations? That's number one. Number two strategy that you can use to unlock money is content marketing consulting. Let me explain how this works. A lot of businesses have even staff that they pay every month who they are designated to be their content communication head or something, but they need them to serve them to help market what they do using content. But they do staff also still need guidance. And that's where you come in. Okay. So businesses need guidance on how to create these effective content strategies, different forms of it. So as a writer, ask yourself, is this something that you have an expertise in that you can offer to them, right? And that might be a way you distinguish yourself from the whole crowd of writers. You can be become somebody that comp companies go to to come in and answer the burning questions they have so that their team can be effective in selling their goods and services with content. Have you thought about it? So you show the people, the department that asks with those content with generating content how to write it how to generate the idea how to put it across the platforms to use and all of that because business writing content marketing is not the same with personal branding in that sense so think about it the third strategy that you can use is ghost writing what is ghost writing <laughs> you don't have you're not dealing with ghosts the only thing is that you're going to be ghosting in the sense of people want to write a book or they want to write anything but you are the one that will write it in place of them. You are the one that will write it. Have you ever thought about it? Being the invisible hand behind someone else's masterpiece. That's what it is. So ghostwriting is a fantastic way to leverage your writing skills for others. As I'm talking, I just remember one of my very key clients who we lost two years ago. God rest his soul. I really love that man's work ethics. He's such an amazing man. He launched three books in one day. And this, those kind of things happen when that person gets the services of a copywriter. So you're not writing your own book now. You're entering the person's brain to get them to write their books in record time. It's a fantastic way. And see, it makes, you make more money than writing 300 words and writing you know, small copies. So those kind of things you can... It can last up to three months, four months, a year, depending on the volume of the work and the intricacies of it. 
and those kind of projects, they are projects actually. Those kind of projects will, will give you more money. More money. Yeah? So think about exploring the art of copywriting and how it can become a steady income. Because another thing with being an entrepreneur or anything is being able to get the income coming as much as you want it. Now, the fourth way is freelance editing and proofreading. This was how I started my first business. I was freelancing first because I, well, I had a nine to five. And like you know, I'm a professional pro, 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 <laughs> if there's anything like that. I'm a pro, pro editor and proofreader. So let's talk about this for a minute. Many writers and businesses are looking for professionals that will help them refine their content. So they have content, they've written some, some are in audio, some are in text, some are in videos, some are in slides. The CEO has used to make presentations. You know that, that kind of thing. So now, it is your job if you decide to be a freelance editor and proofreader as a writer to help them make sense of their work, put them together, know which content goes for what which goes for publicity, which goes for their blog, which goes for, you know, you know what I mean? Now, if you have to learn how to offer these services so they can add valuable stream to your income, editing and proofreading is a skill you can learn. I have a beginner course on, on editing and proofreading and I have a full school, a whole MBA-like kind of course, you know, in case you're interested in this field in particular, okay? So this is something you should consider as a writer. Don't restrict yourself. It takes a good writer to be a good editor and a good reader as well, okay? Now, another strategy you can use to expand or unlock more money for yourself is helping people write resumes, CVs, and also link their LinkedIn profile. Uh, somebody contacted me recently to write their LinkedIn profile. I didn't used to think that was such a big deal because you know how on LinkedIn everybody is shining. <laughs> everybody is a big shot. Everybody is, you know. And I was like, oh, okay, this is a thing. Yeah, because um, LinkedIn gives you the front page that is like a CV where people can land and they can get your professional standing and they decide whether they want to talk to you about a job or a business. You know, that kind of thing. I was like, oh, okay, this makes sense. Even though I did it for the person for free because it's a family member, I think it's something that can work. If you decide to market yourself as a resume writer or as a LinkedIn profile writer, why not? In today's competitive job market, and see, things are hard. Professionals are willing to invest in having a resume that will stand them out so that when they send it up for that job, they are likely to be called. Not just one lame, you know, stuff that has a picture and has date of bed there and all of those kind of things that people do on CVs. You can help people write their resumes. Discover how you can offer this expertise and you can help more people shine and you get your money, you get it back. That's the main thing, okay? Another strategy you can use to unlock money for yourself is that you can create an online course. Hey, God. I have an online course on almost everything that I do, guys. And it's a way you create it once. It will take you work, three, four, or six months to create. But after that, you keep marketing it and making money. You don't have to do anything else apart from marketing it. So if you're ready to share your knowledge with a wider audience, you don't want to hold your knowledge, you know, you're not gatekeeping anything, you don't want to gatekeep anything again. Hmm? Online courses are a fantastic way to do that. Yeah, so if you want to learn how to create and sell courses, you can use free platforms to... Are they really free? Udemy, Teachable, Skillshare. I don't use those platforms. I don't know whether it's free in that sense. But I use Seller, Seller.co. And, you know, it's just about 80000 a year. That is as of now in 2024. It might increase by the time you're watching this video. I don't know. So it's very affordable if you ask me, right? So you can use those platforms to sell. But the thing is, you have to learn the act of getting your, con uh, your content out there getting it recorded in video form or audio form or email form depending on how you want to dispense it actually right so it's also a skill that if you need you can reach out and we can also help you do that okay t money gang you know that here my role is to keep looking out for you i cannot have an information know something and not be sharing with you i mean now who help I'm, I'm not I'm not going to be doing that ever, ever, ever. You know, we have sworn our allegiance, me, you and I, isn't it, that we're going to look out for each other. <laughs> Let me even explain more on the online course before I go to the next one because um, you can be a writing course. So the same thing that you do, you document step by step how you do them and get results with your writing. So that another person who is a 
um, a newcomer in the writing scene can take your course and improve their writing or improve the business of getting people who they can write for. So it depends on the direction you want to teach people. But the thing is, if you're ready, if you're somebody who likes to share knowledge, then having an online course as well as other things that you do will help. And this is the year, and this is the time. This is the right time to do it. Okay, so look at also corporate writing services, for instance, things like companies or clients who are looking for people to write reports for them right i did this a lot when i was living in abuja in nigeria i had a lot of organizations i was writing report for writing was their repertoire so i would go in into meetings sit into their meetings write everything that they are discussing then come up with a report right there's so much money as a repertoire right then you can write people's business plans you can write internal communication memos in emails you know anything that that has to be read even their training materials, even their online courses. Some businesses are creating online courses now. But who to, to create the outline of the course, create the body of the, of the training, put them in slides. All of that is something you can make money from. So I categorize them under corporate writing services, right? There are so much more you can think about. See, stop playing the one person, one person game. You can get a retainer from some organizations that you can actually become the person who creates their slides, create their training materials and the online course materials, internal memos, reports and all of that. Think about it. So let's go to the people that, that can pay your dues, that can pay your fees. Next one, self-publishing. Right, so apart from the traditional way of book publishing, I'm just excited about one of my good friends who watched the previous video and uh, said, okay, she's actually working on her book and the video really helped her. And she said something very remarkable. She said she's not yet interested in hard copy. She's interested in e-books for now. And that is a fantastic way to think. So you can start with e-books. Okay. If they are doing well with time, you can actually publish them. It's still your book, right? So you can consider self-publishing. So you can even publish things that are not just books, maybe guides, templates, like children's books, story books, writing books, all those kind of books that are not, it won't take you a lot of time to even create. Things that people need, and you can publish them. You can publish them on Amazon Kindle, you can publish them on Seller, you can publish them on, all, there are millions and millions of platforms where you can sell your book. As long as you have the right marketing in place, you can begin to publish the things that will help, that are materials that will help people. That is part of why you are a writer. By the time you're reading all this material, they are going to appreciate the awesomeness of your craft, of your style of writing, of your tone, and they want to buy more things that you've written. That's how it works. Another strategy you can use to unlock money. <laughs> Imagine if you now have a blog, right? Or you create content consistently on Facebook or any social media platform. Then people come to you to help them talk about their books. Think about it for a while. So let's say the cover price of their books is 10,000 Naira. Have an affiliate link where anybody who buys through your link, who buys their books, you make a tidy 10% or 5%. So you write your normal post recommending this book and all that in a very organic way and you get money, you get paid for you know, recommending people's books. Think about it. That's part of how you can earn as a writer. Recommend even other products and other services as long as they're related to writing. And you earn your commission. On every sale, you make your commission. Make sure that the anybody you want to work with, you have an affiliate link that you can generate so that you don't have an issue with, with, with the clients or whoever you're selling for. And that's why I use Seller. I really love Seller because you can create an affiliate link of your product and people can use that to market, right? So as a writer, you have to do much more. Don't just be a technocrat who just sits and writes. Think about the money and that's what I'm giving you the plug. Another way you can make money as a writer is to start a podcast. Oh God, I was reading a comment. Somebody said, everybody's doing podcasts now and most of them are, you know what I mean? Like, they are not even podcasts you can recommend to someone. And I'm like, but the people who have the brains are not talking. I don't know. Start a podcast. Discuss writing tips, industry trends, interview people who have written books. I mean, YouTube is there to use. There are many other podcast platforms you can start. Then with time, people will start paying you to sponsor sponsor your videos. People will start paying you, you know, because they want your audience also to know about their products or their books or their apps or their whatever. You know, people can even begin to pay you to join your exclusive membership because they want to learn writing from you. 
on the podcast. No, you not create that separately and start charging people for subscription. There are many ways. So start think of a podcast, right? Put yourself out there. You can't be a writer and you're hiding. The next one is you do you know you can actually be a brand ambassador for brands? Just partner with brands through your writing and people who are in your industry or related industry. Keep talking about what it is that they do that you know that you love on and how you and how using it has helped you. You become the face of that brand. And this it will involve you promoting their products and their services on your platforms. They start paying you because of the people coming to them through you. So it's not just about being a writer. Can, can you see? It's about owning your craft, being proud of it, carrying your market on your head, practically, for my Niger people. And then with time, you get noticed and people can say, oh, I love what she has done for us already for free. We can now pay her to be the face of our brand. Again, you want to make money. You have to also learn to collaborate with influencers, partner with influencers that have a lot of crowd that also have a buying audience in the line of writing and books and in that sense. Don't just partner with any kind of influencer. In partner with, with influencers that their audience buy things like books, courses, and they, they are curious to learn. They want knowledge. So you can partner with them. It could help you tap into new audiences. And you also create that mutual beneficial collaboration so that they gain, you gain. So you can do something like, we brand, will I use an example now? Um, let's say something like a book brand. Let's think about Milo, you know, so it's Cadbury, right? So they, they, they think about children and it's not just for children, but I mean they advertise more for children and sharp brain and being champions. So you collaborate with them with your on your or maybe on your new book and say, Oh, this book in collaboration with Milo are helping young people do XYZ. You know, you can think of something. Sit down on your desk and think of how what you do, the topics of the books you've written or the articles you've written matches another brand's value. Then go out and partner with them. I'm talking about now, you know, brand ambassador, how you can get brand ambassadorship and also influencers. You know, so look for influencers who also are in that niche. I love somebody on this YouTube street who is very good with reviewing books and productivity, which is Ali Abdel. Ali Abdel has gotten to 5 million subscribers already on YouTube. And he has a fantastic book that he, that he just launched. So nothing stopped me, for instance, from recommending his book to you. Yeah, this is his book. You can look out for it, okay? Another way you can make money as a writer is to create markets on top of your own brand. So you've written a book called, uh, like my friend, a mechanobis have written, Your Book Will Sell. Have a t-shirt brand called Your Book Will Sell written on it. Have a teacup written Your Book Will Sell. Have notebooks, pen, clothes, jean, denim, jean jackets, different things written Your Book Will Sell. Do you think people will not buy it? Think about it. And you can easily create these things by going to platforms like Printful and Printify and go there and design them. Even on Canva, design them there, then must produce them. Or you can, for Printful and, and Printify, you design and keep it there. When somebody looks for it, you not, they will not print and send to the person. They are just like the Amazon of goods. So they handle production and shipping. Your own is to make your own percentage and they take their own percentage. Thing. These are the 13 strategies for making more money that I wanted to share with you. But remember that the key thing is for you to identify which opportunity aligns with your own skill and your interest and your area of writing and who is your target audience. That way you know which of these you can use, you know, to begin to work right now. See, making more money or diversifying your income can provide stability it will make you proud of being a writer and it will open new avenues for you there's one particular influencer in nigeria who really inspires me and that's a real worry picking i love the way just from comedy she's gaining so much ground with brands today she just announced a deal with milo before now you'll be thinking what has comedy got to do with milo do you write and she has a lot of brands from real estate to hotels and all that from being a comedian and you remember how she said that she, she was just being real. Now, she, with her craft, she had taught the world. She has, I mean, look for influencers like that. Partner with them. Look for something that is a win-win for both of you and collaborate. Never say, oh, I'm not sure this person would agree. Don't allow yourself to stop yourself again. This is a roadmap you can use to diversify your income. Make sure that it, whatever you want to do aligns with your passion, your skill, your interest. Right? Whether it is through copywriting, ghostwriting, whatever. 
If you found this helpful, the only thing I need you to do is hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section through your comment that this was valuable to you. If you're on YouTube, make sure you also tap the bell subscription so that anytime I drop a video, you don't miss out. All right? My name is Chisum as always. Keep writing, keep exploring, and until next time, happy writing and happy money. All right? Bye.